pretty sure that that should now be outside of our... That's actually still within our strike radius, I think. I want to look at something. Let's go look at... Sorry, guys, that was a really bad uh, test on my part. I should have put more thought into that instead of uh, throwing it together after uh, 10 seconds. So we actually have a strike range of 450 nautical miles. Okay, so those things should now be moved. So we should now actually be able to move our... So we'll move our tankers farther away. So they are at 300 nautical miles, and then they should have just enough to hit there. And if we go under our strike settings, um, so we will use allow tankers to extend the ra our combat radius. And we'll go ahead and just uh, rearm these guys as soon as they land. And those are... So our Stennis is down to 94.7 damage, so it's it's repairing rather slowly. I mean, ships do not just instantly come out of the yard with no damage. So, And then it looks like our... I think our sub over here has actually been... So let's go ahead and launch our... So then you launch a ship from a shipyard just like you would a... Basically, a, uh, you know, aircraft. You basically just, you can launch them as an individual ship or you can launch them as a group. And so we have nine minutes until it's, uh, until it's deployed and ready, or until it's uh, underway. Um, MC, that would actually be awesome if you want to... Uh... If you, if you could upload that, that would be awesome. I don't actually have... I used to actually have a scenario set up for uh, for uh, air refueling ops, but I actually don't have it anymore. Yeah, sorry about that, Jav. I, uh, I forgot I had 30 second uh, or 30 minute time compression turned on. Um, just uh, if you uh, use Chrome MC, you can actually just drag and drop it right into uh, into Belugan's chat. If you just want to drop that into our uh, into the beta channel. Sorry about that, guys. So there's our San Juancito. She's been deployed. And... So she... Let's say she's gone out on patrol. Actually, I want to... How does she actually look? Let's go to our magazines. So she's actually been rearmed as far... Yep. She had nothing, so she's now got 12 ad caps. Tomahawks and tactums have been refilled. That's actually pretty awesome. All right, so let's go over here. All right, guys, give me uh, just a minute here, and we're going to... Uh...
All right, so uh, thank you, MC. I'll uh, let's go ahead and uh, give me just a minute here and let me get these uh, dropped in. MC uh, just uploaded a couple of scenarios for to test out here for uh, refueling. Um, I actually think my computer just crashed. Where? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and kill the game here. Oh, there we go. That was really weird. My whole computer kind of froze up there for a minute. So let's... Yep, so the Stennis, so as you guys can see, uh, you know, port ops are here. You know, ships don't automatically, I mean, ships at sea can actually, I believe uh, the real big difference between docking a ship and actually repairing, you know, at sea is that I believe when it's docked, it'll actually eventually repair a destroyed component. I could be wrong on that. Don't quote me on that. Whereas I don't think a uh, destroyed component will actually be auto repaired by a unit when it's at sea. Um, I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. Um, the uh, pier side operations is still, you know, really, really new and it's still kind of uh, being worked out. So, but MC here has uploaded a couple of scenarios to test out this. We're going to test this uh, bomber test scenario first. So we have base over here. So we've got some strato tankers and some strike eagles we've got one tanker already on station and we have a, another an extender out there and so we've got a couple of isis targets so let's go ahead and assuming we've already got some missions set up here so tanker orbit tender mission that's awesome so let's go ahead and set up a so we've got a strike mission already set up a couple of escorts with a couple of strike eagles and of course they are set to extend their combat radius via tankers so we're going to go ahead and launch let's see if make sure these guys taking off all right so their time to ready is 16 seconds Preparing to launch, taxing to take off, and there we go. So there, so they're grouping up. Oh, oops, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. I hit the wrong key. Um, assigned a mission. I accidentally clicked unassign. Nope. All right, so I accidentally unassigned these guys from, or I accidentally uh, RTB'd these guys, so I want to just do that. No. Come on. All right, so our lone uh, Strike Eagle, or two Strike Eagle, or one Strike Eagle, I guess, is going to be the, uh, sorry about that, guys, is going to be the only aircraft uh on this mission and what I had meant to do is I was actually looking for the follow unit button it's T not U 
Much better. So now we're going to go ahead and follow along with our strike eagle here. Or, or we can do that. That's probably the better idea. Let's go ahead and just uh, reload this bomber test. So we'll do 15 seconds. So there we go. So the fighters are coming up now. And we will click the right key, which is the T key, not the EU key, which unassigns units. We're just going to follow along with our uh, fighters here as they go out on their mission. And actually, what I re what I'll probably end up setting up, and maybe I'll do this, uh, maybe for. Uh, a future stream when version 1.1 is out is I really want to conduct a strike on like say I ran from like Conus using just tankers. I actually wonder one scenario and this this may be something else to try out with this is uh, the black buck raids. That might be uh all right, so our combat, so our fighters are airborne. They've got five hours of fuel left. This tanker is oh, it's on a uh, mission. Okay. Let's go ahead and just uh, speed up compression here. So this target is normally well outside of the uh, range of our strike eagles. Normally uh, they wouldn't actually be able to fly that far without refueling, or at least return. Yeah, so the status will change soon. I believe when they reach up this tanker pattern up here, they'll actually be down to the uh, right amount of fuel. Uh, it doesn't say percentages. And if that uh, really loud motorcycle riding by just uh, came over uh, the microphone, sorry about that, guys. All right, so our strike eagles are in. Let's go ahead and up the tank compression. This can't be uh, that interesting to watch, but I do really want to show this off. We'll show off uh, peg like here as soon as this is done. So now, as you can see, our status has been changed. We're actually heading for Extender 1 with the uh, Maneuvering to Refuel. Status changed. There you go. We're paused, MC. And let's go ahead and check the tanker status. So tanker status here is refueling Q. So now you can see uh, the basically the Q of what aircraft are uh, going to be refueled. So we've got Strike Eagle 4, Strike Eagle 3, 2, and then 1. So as our uh, aircraft are maneuvering,
All right, so it's refueling now. You can see where it says it's served four aircraft. Because one, actually, one thing I want to look is there is a setting. Uh, this is tender mission, I believe. Yes, tender mission. I believe in here. Okay, so this ex actually extends the strike radius. I thought there was a setting. Maybe I'm just imagining things, or maybe it was when I was selected that. No. Oh, and then you can actually set a maximum number of receivers in queue per tanker. So if I only wanted every tanker to have, uh, say, four aircraft uh, ever lined up for it, you could set that. Or if you wanted it to basically only queue up, uh, say, 12 aircraft in the queue, you could do that as well. So you don't have uh, every single aircraft uh, basically waiting in line for one, uh, one tanker. You can actually uh, force them to spread out a little bit if you want. And I need to take a quick screenshot of this. Good old bandy cam. Show hide. Oh, and it's not actually going to ask me to, if I wanted to. Uh... Hey, Dama. Welcome uh, to the stream. Um, is it not going to let me close this? Okay, well, it looks like I have had a uh, bit of an error here. It's not actually going to let me uh, close this out. So I do have to, I'm going to have to restart the game here. And welcome back. Very sorry about that, everybody. Um, I should point out that I have been having some uh, computer issues the uh, last couple of weeks. First, I thought it was my uh, my processor cooler, and then I put a new power supply in this week, and I'm still having crashing and loading issues. So I'm going to have to uh, dig into my computer a little bit here after the stream. But I at least want to finish this bomber test. I think I loaded the wrong save. Let's load this one. So where were we? We were watching our tankers or our fighters basically refuel from our tanker. In fact, I think they had just finished. Oh nope, they were in the process of re refueling. And the game crashed. Just one moment, guys. I'm very sorry. This is actually why I tried to, uh, as much as I would love to basically stream the uh, command uh, beta all the time and let loose all the secrets at the same time, uh, this is kind of one of those reasons why I kind of shy away from it. Um, all right, so there we go. Let's uh, see. Go to 15 second time intervals. All right, so tankers, our fighters are now refueling. There we go. They've broken off. All completed now, and now heading uh, off on their strike mission. Should we notice that I'm actually not touching these, this at all? They are completely doing this all on their own. I was just looking at something there. So there they go. There. No. As MC was kind of pointing out a little earlier about the uh, new polygons and how these uh, 
turn pulse mode back on. There we go. Much, much better. There we go. Running much smoother. Forgot to turn high fidelity mode back on. So our fighters now are closing in on their target. We've got a couple of sand batteries over here and a couple of buildings. Fighters are going to go in. Sam's incoming. Lost one of our eagles. Missiles away. Bang, bang, bang. So it looks like we lost, we did lose a couple of our eagles. We lost one. I'm sorry. We lost one. So now they are now on a return to base. And it should be noted, what I started to say before our Eagles went in, is that uh, as you can see here with the uh, with the patrol missions or with the support missions is that it is actually now forming a kind of a closed loop. What you used to have is with these support missions, you used to actually have to put like a fifth point over here near point one to kind of close off the polygon. Um, as MC pointed out a little earlier, is that now this actually closes off automatically. All right, so eagles are returning. They're down to about 85% fuel, so they actually should, or they might actually take uh, fuel from uh, our uh, tanker or our uh, tanker orbit mission down here in the south. No, they. I'm sorry, they've got 19 hours of fuel left with uh, with no fuel on board or with no weapons on board, and they've got uh. About five hours of flying, or I'm sorry, or they've been up for 18 hours. Not quite sure. Yeah, five hours, oh, I'm sorry, five hours, three minutes from home, and they've got 18 hours of flying time. So they're going to uh, make it back to their base without needing to refuel again. And we'll just watch them as they return to base. And they land, and there we go. And mission completed. And as you can see, I think... Oh, nope, that mission's still going. I thought that Tinker was going to return home. And with that, I think I'm going to... Uh, call it here for the day um very sorry for all of the uh kind of the computer issue guys uh really my fault not the games there i think i um pretty sure that it's my computer acting up so i'm gonna go and dig into it but thank you all for joining me i really do want to thank uh warfare sims you know mc dimitri mike belugan all the rest of the team for uh, letting me stream uh the version 1.11 beta and I really hope uh, you guys enjoyed it. And uh, we'll definitely be seeing uh, more of this uh, when it's actually officially released. And I will uh, see you all next week.